The film is about a, a really complex and really believable kind of mother-daughter relationship, mm -hmm. and it's like the energy core that drives the narrative, and it really drives everything in the film. And so, my question was: Did you did you set out to make a story about a mother and a daughter, or did that emerge as you, as you were writing? No, from mo from moment one, it was always about a mother and a child, um, uh, and instantly, I I sort of set my mind on a daughter as a yeah so yeah that that was like from early on mainly because um the whole spark of the idea came from a conversation i was having with my mom um about those times you know the iran iraq war like being in tehran and like um you know if you ask any iranian who lived through that period uh they have so many stories and they have their own experiences and like some are more intense than others uh so that was uh probably not many as intense as <laughs> yeah, like being possessed and haunted as yeah. well. But yeah, so yeah, for moment one, it was about that. And, and the other question I want to ask is about the performances and the casting, because the, the performances really make the film. Um, and Naja's Thank amazing you. performance, um, but also Arvin as well. Uh, and so I wanted to ask, what was the casting process once you'd had the, the script and the screenplay ready? Uh, uh, well, basically, the, the first rule was to find uh, four C speaking actors who can speak four C fluently, and and we started asking around and uh, and sort of looked everywhere. I mean, the the cast comes from uh, you know around the world, from Germany, U.S., uh, France. France, Italy, um, you name it, and then and London and UK and. Um, and Nargis was, uh, we were very fortunate because uh, uh, Navid Nagahwan, who plays uh, Abu Nazir in Homeland. Homeland, a great actor, he, he kindly recommended Nargis. And, and uh, we started chatting early on on Skype and then phone, and then she flew to London and we met. And instantly it was like, uh, you're, you're she there, like, <laughs> yeah. So, so it was an exciting process. And with Arvin, um, who is, Oh, where are you? There she hey. is. Come, come on the stage. Come on the stage. Yay! Yay. Yay. This is my first time seeing her. Yay! Hello. Do you want to sit here? Do you want to sit here or there? Choose. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, a uh, wonderful oven. Uh, we we um, approached the Iranian community in London and um, and uh, so looking for Farsi speaking ch uh, uh, child actors. And bear in mind that this was the first time Alvin ever acted in wow. front of the camera. Wow. Um, and and she, you know, I was looking. You know, I, I, I think I auditioned about like 12, 13 children, so not many. But um, but Alvin walked into the room, and that was <laughs> it. That was like this is her. She's talented. Brilliant, everything that you won. And, uh, and, and, and how was it? Because it's, it's quite a scary story. Uh, how did it, w w like, how was it, how was it kind of being in it? Was, that, was it difficult? Did it feel scary when you were doing it? No. No. <laughs> well, um, we, we had a lot of, a uh, lot of chat with Alvin and I was like, I kept telling her like, you know, this is all made up you know, coming out of my head, yeah. so, and so, so we were like, it was almost like role playing, I told her like, yeah. it's kind of like role playing, yeah. Well, congratulations, <laughs> did, did an amazing <laughs> job with that. Um, so the, the other question I, I want to ask before I throw it over to the audience, uh, the thing, I think one of the things I love about the film so much is that as Shida starts to unravel and, and things start to get quite surreal and you're not mm -hmm. sure what's real and what's not real, you, the technical aspects, uh, you use the kind of aspects of cinema um, in a way that is really interesting. Uh, so before, the, the, all of the shots were quite locked and quite tight, and then uh, it starts to get slightly disorientating, mm -hmm. and I think the audience feel disorientated. Um, I just wondered if you could tell us a bit about how you, you took the approach technically. Um, well, uh, uh, Basically, from moment on, the plan was to start the film uh, kind of feeling like a social realist drama, and I really wanted to have that feel of uh, the, uh, you know Iranian cinema, you know, being obviously inspired by like Farhadi or Kiarostami, uh, and I was like loads of chat with uh, my DP Kit Fraser um, uh, about like that sort of 
arc following Shida's arc and like how we start off as if like it's kind of like um, the camera is kind of like fluid, like finding moments and bit by bit as the film progress, uh, as the film like, you know, uh, proceeds, proceeds uh, we, we go further and further into Shida's mind and that's when um, things start to change, things start to shift um, and, and you, you know, and, and I'm obviously the same with my production designer, Nasser Zubi, who's a Jordanian, uh, amazing production designer. You know, so, so um, there was a plan that scene by scene, we get more and more into Shida's head and things become more expressive. And, yeah. and it feels more and more claustrophobic. And, and Nagis, how, did it feel claustrophobic? On set, was it? Did it Not feel at like all. <laughs> <laughs> you call that acting? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. No, really. There were many purposes. If you want me to, uh, there's like a sort of superficial answer, like for like, um, um, you know, Sheila is my cousin's name. <laughs> and, and Dorsa, I had a, I had a, a, um, a, a, when I was growing up in Iran, we had a next door neighbor who had a little girl called Dorsa, and we were used to be playmates. Um, but if you want to go deeper, um, uh, you know, you're Persian, you, you know, you, you know the, you know the meanings, um, you know. But you know, this is like too sort of like, I don't know. I just, um, if you, if you get it, that layer, like great. If not, uh, you know, it's, yeah. I, you know, I don't want to go too deep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. To be honest, with you, everything that's been cut out of the film, uh, we're all happy about, and um, yeah, I'm very happy with the editing process. Like the first, uh, you know, where the shooting script was 95 pages. The, uh, the first cut of the film was 96 and they ended up being like 84, 85 minutes. So we did cut out like about 10, 11 minutes, but that's the process and, and you need to be brutal in the edit. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with the end result. So no, nothing that I was like precious about that I got rid of and now I'm upset about. hundred uh, percent. I mean, like we were trying to create nostalgia. Um, you know, For me, yeah, definitely. It felt very much like Iran in the 80s. In the yeah. 80s. Yeah. And um, hats off again to my uh, production designer, amazing production designer, Nasser Zubi, who's uh, in Jordan. And he is a very experienced um, art director. I think this is the first, first or second film being a production designer. And he, wor you know, he worked on big Hollywood films, you know, when Hollywood goes to Jordan to shoot. But um, the key thing was that I had folders and folders of uh, references, like photos, uh, not only the stuff you know, I, I just found here and there, but like also going through uh, old photo albums and asking family, friends, and relatives to send me photos. Um, and then I sent all of that to NASA, and then uh, um, my DP, Kit, and I and NASA were in constant communication. And then what, what was great about NASA also, because he's Jordanian, he knew there was something about that Middle Eastern touch that uh, it just, um, I cannot explain it. Like, because there's only much I, as a director can control, you know, I can tell him I want this room to be like this, and, you know, get into specific. When you walk on the set and he's done a, l a little thing, like a tiny little detail in a corner, and you go like, oh my God, that just made it 10 times better. So, so I think that was, that was really, that was really key to have, have a, a Middle Eastern production designer on board for such a film. And, and he was very, very, knowledgeable about the uh, Iranian culture and that, um, and that time and era. Uh, one of the main reasons also, I think he worked on Rosewater as well, John Stewart's, uh, so he already done tons of research um, you know, on Iran, but um, yeah, so he was a very knowledgeable uh, production designer. Yeah. And he, what, his crew worked so hard, like in our tight schedule, like really tons of respect for him. Yeah. So when you say tight schedule, how, how long did it, take you to shoot shoot the film 21 days 21 days yeah. wow <laughs> yeah oh it, it was it was intense but yeah. we did it yeah. high five yeah. Yeah, yes <laughs> yeah. I mean. yeah yeah, yeah. I mean. yeah. Great.
from moment one, um, I knew that this is going to be a very sound-heavy film, uh, and I ne didn't want any sort of score in it. I mean, the only piece of music that you hear is like uh, opening and the end credits, and um, and then um, you know when it came to edit. Uh, my editor Chris Barwell and I spent a lot of time working on the sound. You know, he's a great editor, and he, you know, we we realized that we can't just focus on the cuts. We need to start creating a template for the sound. And then, as a guy, um, and then uh, afterwards, uh, my fantastic uh, sound designer Alex Joseph, who is here somewhere tonight, uh, there, the dude. Uh, yeah, um, the um, yeah he. Took all of that on board, and um, and uh, you know we, we you know we said like this is our guide, uh, and then he just took it on board and just uh, completely you know added so much, offered so much, completely like just like elevated it up to here, and uh, like so many um, late nights, <laughs> you know, and and you know the key thing was also uh, which I'm very thankful of, I and mean, he deeply cared about the project, which is really key for such a low budget film that you know you have people who are so passionate uh, about the work so yeah thanks alex <laughs> <laughs> cheers <laughs>
share it with the audience and then let them experience it in, in their own way, if that makes sense. That does make sense, <laughs> too. Yeah. Thank you.